Hey guys, we're back with another video. So today we are going to be making some beef short ribs, boneless. So I got about three pounds already rinsed up off. So the first thing we're gonna do is put salt because that's the main thing you wanna coat it with salt and um, let that marinate for a minute. It's best if you could do it for a couple hours, but we could do it for about 20 minutes as we cut up everything. So we got the short ribs. You're gonna need some celery, carrots. They didn't have whole carrots, but we're gonna make these work, these baby carrots. Some onions, and I'm gonna add some green pepper to it. So like I said, we're gonna add salt. We're gonna set this to the side for a bit. We also gonna use a Dutch oven and cook it for about two hours until it get fork tender. So we're gonna use regular salt. You can use pink salt too, but we're gonna use this just so that the um, flavors can be marinated while your oil getting hot and while you're cutting up your vegetables. Because we are going to fry these up a bit before putting them in the oven. So I'll say about two tablespoons. So these are beef short ribs without the bone. So we're gonna set that to the side. Wash my hands. I'm gonna start cutting that up. I'm gonna turn my Dutch oven on so the oil can get hot, so we can add our vegetables. So you're really just rough chopping this because this is gonna go in the oven for about two hours. So got our celery. So it could be a rough chop because this is gonna cook down. We got that. We're gonna use about half of this onion. Okay. And I thank you guys for who has been watching and subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much. We got some videos coming for you. Got the onions. I'm gonna cut these carrots just a little bit. You know, I might put them in whole because they baby carrots. I do a little rough chop on it. Just the uh, onions and celery alone smell good. Got those. Already rinsed this. I'm going to do some of this green pepper. And preheat your oven to 325 because we are going to add this to the oven. So we got all our vegetables cut up. We're gonna move over to the um, stove. So we got our onions and stuff cut up. So now we're gonna start getting a char on our meat. So the oil is hot. Like I said, you only need salt on here because we're just trying to brown it a bit. I'm 
that grease in my hand. <laughs> and you don't want to crowd the pan either. So we're going to get these browned off and we'll be right back. That's how you want to get them nice and brown. We just want to add a little color to them. Love them some good, some good short ribs. Short ribs. Now remember, do not pour this grease out. This is what we're going to use to cook our vegetables in. A couple more minutes. Maybe ready. Let's see. So I'm taking the meat out. Now we're gonna add our vegetables. For that same thing. Look at the going. Wash the vegetables down. Like I said, we're not cooking it and just sauteing this to get the flavor. So we got that going. This smells so good. So I'm going to add two cups of water. This is where you will add, um, matter of fact, before adding the water, the broth, basically, I'm going to add the tomato paste. So this is about two pieces. Then we're going to add our seasoning. So I'm going to put some black pepper. Black pepper, garlic powder, some onion powder, mix this up. You don't want to add salt because I'm going to be using Better than bouillon. The, better than bouillon, the beef kind. This is where you will, instead of adding broth, you will add some red wine. But I didn't get red wine, so I'm just gonna use that. So I'm gonna add two cups of water to start off with. About a tablespoon of better than bouillon, the beef pie.
mix this up. You can always add more liquid to it. You can always taste it. This is where you will be tasting it to make sure all the flavors are there. Add a little more beef flavor. I like my season. Some more pepper. That's good. That's good. So now we're gonna add our meat back to it. And we're gonna add this to the oven for about two hours. We're gonna let this reduce down two hours in the oven. We're going to add that broth that came off of it, too. And that's that. We're going to put the lid on. And put it in the oven. We'll be back in two hours when this is ready. So I'm like, why it's not getting thin? I pulled the wrong flour out. This is self-rising flour, but it still will do. All we're doing is just adding some to make this thick. So we're gonna put some in here. We're gonna have to mix. This is to make the gravy. But if you have it, just use all-purpose flour. They both work the same. So there we have it. I'm going to put this back in the oven for a good 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, and I'll be back. And this is how it looks when it comes out. Nice and tender. Of course, you're gonna have some delicious buttery potatoes. The star of the show.
some gravy on top. This old pork tender. There we have it.